Is Mercedes-Benz really a green company or are they just eco-simping? I got a little theory, sorry, I'm stretching. I've been in this chair for a bit, it's hot and sweaty. I got a little theory about Mercedes-Benz. And my theory is that their greenness or their eco, whatever, their eco incentive is really not that, not as good as you would think it is. It's not as true. It's like a, what do people call it in the media? Some kind of narrative they're trying to fabricate about themselves when they are, um, you know, trying to sound like a better company than they actually are. And the truth is none of us here down on earth really care. I mean, at least in our neck of the woods, all we care about is whether or not we can get high quality non-Chinese parts for our 123 diesels. But we're going to talk about some of the blatant contradictions that we've seen with Mercedes and their green programs versus how they actually do business. So let's start. Mercedes-Benz says that they are going to, that they believe that the future is electric, but at the same time, they have still not made any statements about how they plan on producing carbon offsets for batteries and for recycling those batteries when they are spent. I think Mercedes just assumes that their batteries are going to last forever or that they'll at least last through one ownership cycle. And by the time the second person buys the crappy electric car, it's their problem. So this is massive contradiction number one. Nobody has shown me a single news article where Mercedes has actually talked about acknowledging and dealing with the environmental ramifications of building electric cars, whether it is the disgusting and horrible and eco-unfriendly process of lithium mining to the process of transporting these materials and as well all the toxic metals that get released into the earth when inevitably water and rain or whatever leach into these mines and you know what do you i don't know another blatant contradiction i find that's really funny is their packaging I will get these tiny little parts from Mercedes, like a wood rough key or something that are not just packaged once, but twice in a large bag. They'll be packaged literally in a bag that is 150 times larger than the size of the part. And they'll be packaged in a bag, another bag that's like 300 times the size of the part. How is that even necessary? And you know, this goes on for like, you know, all the way through their supply chain. I mean, this is insane. The amount of plastic they're using just to package small parts doesn't make any sense to me at all whatsoever. Now, <clears throat> another, um, another area that I see that Mercedes has really not done their, their best to try to promote uh, green practices um, is with the incredibly high failure rate of certain parts in modern cars. So if you want a modern car to have a minimal carbon footprint, make it so that major assemblies like engines and transmissions don't blow up so you have to expend all the materials necessary to manufacture that part twice. Instead, make parts that actually last and don't break. And make cars that don't have to be thrown away in 20 years. You know, no, no matter what anybody tells you, recycling is not a super green process. Just because something gets recycled or reused doesn't mean that it's a benefit to the earth. And when you have to take something like an aluminum engine block and smelt it down, think of all the chemicals that get released using fire to do that. And by the way, when you're, do it, when you're performing that process, you still need a lot of coal because coal is really the only thing that gets hot enough to melt metal. I'm not saying that Mercedes is a stupid or bad company. I'm just saying they need to acknowledge the fact that their green practices are really not that green because when you have to remake a part over and over again, you know, I've heard of CLA cars that had to have two engines, not one, but two. And when those engines are bad, they're not rebuildable. They just go in the recycling heap, the scrap metal heap. You know, some of them have had to have pistons. Think about 
all the resources, the fluids, the brake parts cleaner, the parts washing material, all that stuff that has to be controlled when it breaks. You know, and in the meantime, if you never have to pull the engine apart in your 300D, then you've saved yourself a lot of time and material and stuff like that. You know, now a fourth area that I find that's really funny about Mercedes Benz and their their quote unquote green energy project. Um, has to do with the uh, lack of support for some of their older, older model platforms. If you're really committed to green energy, if somebody wants to keep their car indefinitely, not 30, 40, or 50 years, I mean indefinitely, then pass it down to their kid or whatever, you need to support those people because we all know, this is something we all know, we all know that it's cheaper to keep an existing car on the road in terms of energy and environmental expenditure than to make a new one. You know, think about all the work that goes into making a new car. Everybody knows it's greener to keep the old car on the road. And so if you're going to do that, you might as well even support your 20 or 30 year old models or just come out and say it. We really weren't that green and ecologically friendly and uh, we don't really care about these cars, you know. so. Their, their process of creating this narrative where they act like they're so pro-environment, but at the same time, when it comes to day-to-day -day business, how, how recklessly they sort of treat big environmental questions that should be addressed is a process known as eco-simping. Appear like you care about the environment on the outside so you please environmentalists but on the inside you might harbor bitter feelings of anger or ineffectiveness at least towards the actual causes that you're promoting. So if you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe and comment below. I want to hear some of the comments, you know, and let's hear what people have to say about Mercedes and their silly electric car program that's going to be just as dirty and nasty and filthy as a worn out 1980s OM603 diesel engine with worn out rings blowing oil smoke everywhere, just like we like it. <laughs>